Hello everybody, welcome to another one. Today I got another fantastic episode for you. Today I got three figures to show off. I'm gonna open them up, pretty much all of them. I may not open one of them, but I'll show it off. Anyways, got Thor, so definitely gonna awesome to check that out. And I got a George Lucas Stormtrooper, which looks pretty awesome. And finally, last but not least, since I have my Masters Universe shirt on here, here is the Princes of Power Hordak. Now this one looks really awesome. Can't wait to open this up. So without further ado, sit back and let's check it out. Don't go away. We'll be back right after these messages. Okay, so here is the first one to show off. Here is the George Lucas and Stormtrooper disguise. As you can see, it looks fantastic. 50 uh, Lucasfilms LTD. Looks cool in there in the Stormtrooper outfit. And back of the box, we pay homage to George Lucas and his remarkable accomplishments in the film and likeness in the director himself, clad in the distinctive armor of the Imperial Stormtrooper. So fantastic. Definitely not going to open this one up. I'll keep it sealed. And then just hang it up. Looks pretty cool. So pretty awesome. And next one. We are going to open up. This one. Princes of Power Hordak. 40th anniversary. Looks pretty fantastic. There's front of the box. Nothing on the side, the other side of the box, a picture of some artwork of Hordak himself. Back of the box, we get this really cool artwork of him and his throne with Leech in the background. We got She Ra, He Man, Zodiac, Skeletor, and Catra on the bottom there for figures available. Top of the box, the Masterverse. Let's open it up and check it out. Just gonna dig right in. Okay, so there is Hordak in the package there. Looks pretty fantastic. And I'll fast forward through it while I open it up. Okay, so here is Hordak. As you can see, he looks pretty awesome. Pretty quality looking figure. Much better than the Origins figure. A lot, lot better. Awesome cloth cape. Got some cool looking armor on. And I believe you could take it off if you wanted to. Just like everything. Got the... Uh, Really good articulation, arms, head. The head doesn't swivel so much because his armor's in the way. The actual head moves, it's not the armor. So pretty good. Ankles, knees, everything is very well posable. You do get an extra arm. I'm not sure why you would get this. Oh, this is for this arm. Okay, that makes sense. So you could have two arms there or the robotic arm. I kind of like it like this. So this looks awesome. Okay, there we go. Tight fit because it's new. Looks pretty cool like that. Switch out its hands so you can carry his crossbow. Okay, so there he is with his crossbow. Pretty awesome looking figure. 
I really like this Hordak. This is a really quality looking figure. And you also got his cool shield. You can do that, the shield, instead of his switching his hands out here. Let's just switch that out and see what that looks like. Okay, so there he is with the shield and crossbow. So pretty awesome figure. I really like it. Hordak has never looked so cool in my in his life. This is really awesome. And I really like the uh, crossbow and everything, all the details. It looks pretty awesome. So definitely a welcome figure to the collection. So I'll have to figure out how I want to display them because there's so many different options with this figure. So many cool options and some blast effects. I'm not sure what the blast effects are all for the cannon if he doesn't have his claw in. So pretty cool. So you could take out, put the blast effects in like he was firing on somebody. So pretty cool, pretty cool figure. So I really like Hordak. Now let's check out the next figure. And that is Thor. The Ragnarok. Let's check this one out. Let's look at the back first before we do that. Using the lock of missing Thor's hair, Tony Stark created a cybernetic dupleganger of the Thunder God called Ragnarok. This is proof of disastrous when the cyborg betrayed the mighty Avengers. So pretty awesome looking figure. So let's open it up and check it out. Okay, so you get this awesome, wow. Highly detailed Thor. No cloth cape, but cool details the way they did it. it. Looks pretty awesome, the cybernetic Thunder God Android version of him with his face showing. Get this cool, this cool weapon of him swinging his hammer above his head and probably taking off. Let me put that in his hand here. I'm not sure how you would display that. I guess like that. It's pretty heavy. Pretty awesome like that. Get the hammer with the inscription on it. And they actually even really wrote it out. About whoever shall held this hammer. That's pretty awesome. So they really went all out in details. Let's put that in his hand and check that out. So there he is like that. Pretty awesome. You can switch out his hand, give him a human hand, human skin, and let's switch out his head once. There we are. So that is pretty awesome. I really like this character. I'm not sure how I'm going to display this one because there's so many cool options of ways of doing it. Pretty awesome. Anyways, that is it for this episode. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and as always, have a good one. Oh, and uh, don't forget to smash that icon bell. Stay tuned for more videos. Take care, everybody, and have a good one. Until next time.